Howdy, y'all. It's Ryan from uh, Washburn. I mean, RA Music. <laughs> Deep in the heart of Texas. We're at 70 degrees and cloudy today. It's going to be storms tomorrow. Hopefully, it won't get anything nasty like tornadoes. But uh, today's our little Saturday vlog. I thought I'd give you a little bit of my Saturday. Got me a wall plug here in the lesson room. That needs a plate on it. Need a plate on that bad boy. So, what am I gonna do? Diamond plate. Why wouldn't you? I mean, come on. Really? Diamond plate. I mean, seriously. Why wouldn't you have diamond plate covers? <laughs> it's just awesome. Except now it makes the plugs look really ugly. I need chrome plugs. Now that's disappointing. <laughs> it's nothing like buying a pizza. A little mini, tiny, tiny pizza. And you were expecting stuffed crust, but you got traditional crust on accident. So not excited. Wiring video. So yeah, <clears throat> mostly got all this unsoldered. Gonna pull the pickups. Get busy putting the EMGs in. So excited. I'm about to drill me some holes, y'all. You might be nervous if you've never drilled your guitar before. But uh, I've done it a few times for some strap block screws and moving things around. Not that big of a deal. Don't be scared. Unless you screw it up completely and then you should be scared. Attach the pickup rings. Yeah, son. So uh, I'm gonna drill some little pilot -y holes, pilot hose, and I'm gonna get the uh, the pickup rings attached. I'm gonna do that first, and then continue with the wiring. So excited! Nice beard. Thank you very much. Like, how long ago did you, because you shaved that all off. Like, shaved it off about the first week of January last year, and then I just hadn't touched it since. So, so, it's, about so it's about a year? About, this is a year. That's about 13 months. Yep, about a 13 month or. Yeah, because I trimmed mine off, I don't know how many months ago, but it's, yeah. it's coming back. Mm -hmm. It's coming back. Uh, this is Adam Lamar, for everyone who doesn't know. How you doing? You should know. You should. You should know. So what's up this fine Saturday with you fellas? We drove to, uh, we were driving to Tyler to check out the Guitar Center and, um, hey look at this viewfinder I'm not supposed to look at. I know, right you can see it. Yep. We're driving to the Guitar Center at Tyler and it's the tiniest Guitar Center I've ever been to. It's like a neighborhood market, like there's a big box store and then there's just the grocery store part. That's what it is. They, had, they didn't have a drum room, they had a drum alcove. So uh, they only had like, what they had it? A drum. They had a drum nook. They had a drum nook, yeah. What was it, Sapien and Zildjian, that's it? Zildjian. Yeah, just the, didn't have a big selection, so went to a couple other stores, and then I was like, you know what, Canton's only like a half hour away, let's go. Yeah. Came, got uh, got our buddy Steven hooked up. Yes. So you can stop playing through a Distortion Plus and the bass yes. rig. Got the uh, the micro dark there. Yeah. Because you've got a, a, a got micro a tear that you got Micro tear, the white one. And it rocks. Mm-hmm. Socks. Steven, Steven likes the black ones, so we got him a black one. Well, it's a bit more gain on that one, so. Yeah, it's, it's less clean channel, but I mean, it's like super dirty, awesome. Mm. Then Dev got some clear tone. <laughs> clear tone strings. You got, you got those for me. I got those for that's for me from you. From me, yeah. yeah. I do. I do carry clear tone. Yeah. Just because Robert Baker said to. And Robert Robert Baker, thank you for making Ryan do that, because I wasn't a fan. I wasn't. I was like clear tone, whatever. I wasn't a fan of like heavy gauge strings. I'm tuning down to like C sharp in 10 through 46. And then Ryan was like, you need to get some heavy strings. So I put them on the guitar. I was like, this is the awfulest stuff in the world for like a day. And then it was like, never going back. These are great. Yeah, these are awesome. <laughs> yeah. Well, everybody knows I, I like, I have my favorite brand, but uh, we also do carry clear tones too. I'm not saying that Dario is a bad string at all. Love the Dario's, use them for years. It's important to have choices. 
I would use the Dario strings. I'm saying I would never go back to the ladder gauge. The ladder gauge. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Well, I always make fun of Robert because he's like, best strings in the world. I'm like, oh, you got some NYXLs? He's like, shut up. <laughs> <laughs> so they're both great. Yeah, they're, they're both, both they're great. both excellent strings. They both do things that strings are supposed to do. Mm -hmm. They go twang and they tighten up, yeah. loosen up. What do you think about the Devil Cat? <laughs> Pretty awesome, pretty, right? Pretty sweet, Chris Mitchell. Good job. Thumbs up. Good job. Chris Mitchell guitars. Devil Cat amplifiers. I'm a big fan. Yeah, they're sweet. But uh, it's nice to have another opinion. Yeah. No, I mean, I, the fact that you got an extra dirt channel that you can stack on top of either channel is brilliant. Yeah, I like, the, I like that dirt stacked onto the overdrive because then it just goes insane. It's like you have a five channel amp. It really is. Yeah. You get way more than you pay for with Devil Cat. For sure. I think. And CMGs. I mean, if it had like green stain skin, it'd be cooler. But I mean, it's still pretty. We could probably make awesome. that happen. Chris Mitchell could probably do anything. Green snake skin. Mm -hmm. I'll ask him. I mean, there's, there's green snakes. I've seen them. They <laughs> exist. <laughs> they exist out They're there. They're real. Yeah. Beards. Beards. All right. Always good to see you, Adam. Yes, sir. Thanks for coming in. Good to All see good. you, good man. <laughs> and I got to go back to work on this guitar. It's going to be sweet. It will. I'm looking forward to uh, playing it. So mm -hmm. Maybe I'll get finished today by closing time. Really? I don't know. All right. I don't know if you see a video of him playing it tomorrow, he got it done. It won't be tomorrow because i got to edit it. And that just takes me forever. <laughs> That's what I'm saying. That's why I said that. Yeah. And when I go home now, I don't have to work at home. Yeah. I have to play Fallout. Uh, that's, yeah. That's what you that's, should do. That's what I like to do. What, what I, you I should do. That's what should happen. Yeah. All right. So much drilling. So much. So I just drilled my little pickup ring holes. Yay. <clears throat> There's a little tip I picked up. I don't even remember where. I have like painter's tape on top of the guitar. So when I, uh, I drilled the holes, uh, I went through the tape. That's just to kind of help protect the finish. And as you can see, those were, as I remove the tape, let's try this, as I remove the tape, woo, that's a pretty clean, pretty clean hole there. Yep. So the uh, the holes are, have been drilled for the pickup rings. I think it looks sexy with the pickup rings. You'll see that here in a little bit. Hello. Pat David Music. Hello America. Crikey. Good morning. Good morning. Uh, good morning, Ryan. It, yes. Is it more? It is morning in Australia, right? Oh yeah. What time is it over there? I forget. It is, right now. It's five thirty p.m. Ah. Well, hello from the future at ten thirty a.m. Sunday. Future man. Yeah. We we closed about an hour and a half ago, but I'm still working on this pickup install and chatting with Pat. Uh, from the future. And I'm excited. I'm excited to hear the uh, the EMGs because I haven't heard. Passive EMGs uh, since like the Hertz series years and years ago. Yeah, see, and I think people have the wrong idea about that. You know, the, the EMG HZs. Yep. Because back in the day, many years ago, the HZs were like sort of imports. Like I think they were made overseas, but nowadays, oh, yeah. like EMG makes everything in the USA. There is nothing. That's cool. <laughs> yeah, and even like I have some of their SRO actives that are affordable. Yep. They do have some affordable passives, um, and they're still made in the USA. Now, these are the swanky, very nice passives made, made in the USA. They, so, look, they look really nice. They they do. I can't wait to play on them. Um, there's a guy, Prashant Aswante. I met him at NAMM. He's got some videos up, and he uses, oh. he uses actually, I think, the exact ones I'm putting in. I know that guy. I've never known how to pronounce his name, so thank you. Prashant, yeah. Yeah. He, he's yeah. really cool, and he's a really nice guy, and he's big on these uh, these particular mm. passives. So I'm pretty excited about it. Cool. But it's been a long Saturday. <laughs> I'll bet. And I'm still at work. So, but this is part of my Saturday vlog. How was your Saturday yesterday, Pat? Good. Uh, so yesterday, uh, what did we do? Uh, lots of studio recording, um, and then I went out and saw Fellini. 
uh, in Melbourne, which was fantastic. And supporting him was this amazing band from New Zealand that I've never heard of before called the Heavy Metal Ninjas. They were these gigantic dudes all wearing like ninja costumes. And I was sort of saying to Jess, I don't know how these guys would be ninjas. You definitely hear them coming because it's like a fridge entering your house. But they were, uh, they were amazing players, some of the best guitarists I've ever seen. They should, have been, definitely check them out. They should have been more like uh, Vikings then because they were huge. That would make more sense. That would make a lot more sense than these guys with like, they had like light, light up ninja masks and like crazy fake eye things and huge like ninja suits. And they were like eight string Ibanez guitars and just shred city. Crazy. Melted all, my face right up. All the shred. But then you put your face back on for Polini. Yeah. Oh man. So good. Definitely check them out. Heavy Metal Ninjas and Polini. Great show. Yeah. And then you get to like hang around and talk to all the dudes after the show and everyone's really nice and stuff. It was good. Good fun. That sounds awesome. Well, you said they're coming in March to Dow uh, Fort Worth in Texas, so I'm gonna have to go see Polini. Yeah. Touring with Intervals, Angel Vivaldi, and another band that I'm not sure of. But they're touring the whole of America for like March and April, so definitely check them out. Mm. I will. All right, man. Talk to you later. I'm having an issue somewhere with the neck pickup not being grounded. The bridge is grounded, so it sounds great. The neck's got a little bit of noise because apparently I've missed a ground wire somewhere. But it's really late, and uh, I'm ready to go home. It is late, late. I stayed way too long today working on this. I might finish it up uh, Monday, so. So excited. Happy Saturday. Yeah, I'm headed to the house. So that's about it for today. Hope your Saturday was awesome. Mine was really long. Really long. And uh, didn't quite finish my wiring. So close. 95, well, maybe 89% of the way there. But it's been really long. I'm way too late at the shop today. So I gotta go home. Thank you guys. Keep your music alive. Hope you had a great weekend. Tell me what you did this weekend musical. And we'll see you later. Wheelie, wheelie, wheelie. Woo. So excited. Beard.